Every man has his techniques, and they're all different. And when you know mine, you'll be dead. All right. Hello, everyone. Um, this is a, I guess, a different kind of episode we're going to do. Um, we're recording this today, but I, we're going to try and get a bunch of different skaters and talk about their little setup madnesses and, you know, any tweaks they do to their setups, et cetera, et cetera. Mitch, Mitch is here for the journey. Mitch, how you doing? I'm great. And uh, I guess this is the first one we do, so we'll see. It'll probably get edited out. It might not. But <laughs> we have uh, our first guest here, Niall Lovett. From Indiana, Niall, how's it going? Good, good. Just hanging out at Minus Skate Shop. Here we go. Home of the best sweatshirts in skateboarding. The best sweatshirts? Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's my boy right there. Yeah. So I guess one of the cool things about doing this podcast is you, you touch base with people here and there. People comment on what we're doing. Everybody has their own quirkiness with their setups. Actually, some people have none. Some people have tons. Uh, so it's always cool to hear how people, you know, tweak things, whatever size wheels they ride and whatnot. Niall, I guess we, we can start with you because... Uh, you do something that I don't hear of too many people doing, and that's yeah. the first thing off is redrilling the wheelbases, right? My setup's fucked. <laughs> My setup's fucked. Dude, uh, sorry. So let's start out with the board. It's just an 8-inch Theories board generator with uh, – yeah, so I do modify the wheelbase. I drill the wheelbase in. So I drill the tail in three-eighths of an inch, and then I drill the nose down a quarter of an inch. So Wow. It, yeah, definitely lengthen the tail, lengthen the nose, and then – shorten the wheelbase but it, it was a gradual thing i didn't just I, that's it kind of came i've been doing the tail for about 10 years so I, it was the shop before minus it was called rise and i was uh i started writing their shop boards and i remember i was talking to my brother one day and i was like damn it's just i feel like the tail is just short because i used to ride girl boards i always i grew up riding girl boards i was like all i rode back when they were china wood they were super mellow Obviously had short tails yeah yeah and then, uh, so yeah, I was talking to my brother and I was like, yeah, I just can't get into this tail. And he was like, why don't you just drill all four holes up and just make that longer? And I was like, damn, you know, like I might do that. And then, so he helped me just drill it in. And then that was probably, that was like almost 10 years ago now. And I've just been doing it ever since. And then with the madness kicked in, the nose got drilled as well. And then, yeah, now it's just a Frankenstein. It's, it's just a little tiny, tiny little eight inch board, but I love it. So you redrill every single board? I redrill every single board. Yeah. So setting up a board, I kind of hate setting up boards, if I'm being <laughs> honest. I try, I, and I ride my boards for as long as possible. I love just a beat, like a broken down, just worn in board, you know, and uh, try to make it last as long as possible. And that's definitely one of the reasons. Like, I just, I have to do a whole thing. I got to get the extension cord into the garage. I got my <laughs> DeWalt drill and I just, I got to do the whole thing. But it's kind of fun at the same time. I kind of like it. It's like, I don't know. It's like a little project. One Nick actually put me onto this. I was at work one day and I was talking to him and I was like, man, I need to like find a better system to drill my wheelbase in. I was like, I'm thinking about making like my own little mold, you know, like I was going to like JB weld little, little spacer rings, you know, just kind of come up with something I could just, just real quick. And then he sent me a Instagram DM one morning and it was these, it was these wheelbase mod tools. Whoa. From they're uh, from a company in Illinois called Kim Skates, like C H E M S. I think it's a shop, maybe. And uh, I instantly bought them. I instantly, like at work, I was like, "Oh, I gotta get this." And then they used to be three D printed. But uh, shout out to my girlfriend Harley. She bought me two for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Sickest Valentine's Day gift ever. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's... One one's three eighths of an inch, and then one's a quarter of an inch. Oh, and these gosh, are nice. So totally sick. Yeah, dude, I'm set. And these are the nice thick metal. And uh, yeah, I, I used one today. Or I used them both today, actually. And yeah, they're perfect. And it comes with like a nice, like, every one of them comes with a drill bit. And then, uh, yeah, it, that makes it a lot easier. But I've like ruined so many boards. I've ruined so many boards because like it's it doesn't seem like it would matter that much. But if you drill it in at the slightest angle, your whole board's fucked. And like you're not getting your hardware into your base plate. And it's it's just a nightmare. So what I did was I went to I went to Home Depot. That's where it was. And I got this little drill block, it's called, just in the drill section. And it's just like, a, yeah, they just call it, I think the brand is called a drill block. And you just set it on the top of the board and then drill it down. It helps us keep like a nice straight line, almost like you're using like a drill press. 
Wow. And then that, that helps a lot. Like that, that thing was a game changer. I dude, so many boards, so many boards would turn like your board. Just, doesn't say if it's like the slightest bit off. It's yeah. Like, so yeah, some boards you'll be like, Oh, you know, heel flips are working on this board. Like kick flips are working on this board. And then you just, yeah, it's, it's, it was maddening, but I think I got it down. I think I got it down to a science now, but yeah. So that makes my wheelbase like 13 and 13.625, 13, seven, like 13 and three quarter. And then my tail is long. My tail is long as shit. I love, I love my tail to be long. I like the quick snap. The my my worst nightmare is like Steve. You were talking about this on one episode, where you get no fingers of flat and it's all leverage, and you just it's just it feels like it's like five hundred pounds to pop your tail on the ground, and uh, yeah. So I, I like that quick snap of the tail, and then the nose that just kind of that just kind of came as like a balancing because it it got to the point where like my nose had like little fingers of flat and then my tail had all of it. So I kind of moved the nose back a little bit just to kind of balance it out a little, but yeah. So tails like almost seven, I think, or seven. So it's, I feel, it feels like a twin nose kind of, or like they feel similarly, similar in length, but yeah, that's, that's the board. My mind's blown. And then you drill from the top right through to the bottom. I'm assuming. Drill from the top. Exactly. So Yeah. yeah, set these on top. They fit nice and snug into the original drill holes. And then I kind of just use this as a template and I get it started. And then that's when the drill block comes in and then it has like nice little rubber pads. So it sticks on and then just. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Wow. You now every board, it's, every board, except for clutch. Three sixteenths drill bit. Yes, I believe it is three sixteenths. Yeah. Yeah. The new ones they sent are like slightly bigger because uh, the three sixteenths that they originally sent with the 3d printed, the old plastic, molds mm-hmm. they uh they're a little bit too small so your heart you kind of had to hammer your exactly. hardware a little bit but these new ones like everything's perfect and was yeah. that like so when you started doing the tail was it like right away you were like oh this is the best i love this like oh dude right yeah it was grip. instant it was instant i i haven't i haven't turned back yeah it's it's been and it's just it kind of helped with madness a little bit too it's just like now if i go to a shop and there's well i mean i'm gonna write a theories board but back then it was like you know, they only had death wish, especially during COVID or something, you know, like some random board brand, I could make any board brand work. That was the beauty of it. And, the, and any manufacturer as well. Cause it used to be, I used to be the dude at the shop, like tape measure, everything, you know, like <laughs> trying to find that exact one. And then now it's kind of like, Oh, I can make, I can make it work. My mind's blown. Cause I was always a kick guy. That was my biggest thing is, you know, the degrees of kick. And uh, yeah. I have my little gauge. Thanks to uh, Ben to grow. I saw him. Yeah, the, the angle gauge is sick. I still haven't. I haven't yeah. gone down that route because I know that will be like detrimental to my <laughs> mental health. I, I I know it. Like so, I tried to stay away from that, but I know exactly what you mean. There's nothing worse than a like too steep of a kick. It's yeah. It's uh, that's my you know, which is weird though, because now I'm riding these generator boards and I'm like, oh, I don't mind. Like I have to flatten them. I leave do the Neen Williams and leave them under the car for a couple hours. You probably wonder why I run my decks over before I skate them. And it seems to just melds it at enough where, and if it's already a flatter one and then I do that, it's like the best, but. Yeah, yeah. I've definitely parked my car on a couple South Central boards. That's for sure. The noses were a little bit steep on a couple South Centrals and I had to park it, but. It, it works. It really does work. Have you ever parked it on there for too long and it just sogged it out? I didn't have that issue, but I have, let me just, I have a magenta here I did it to. And I don't know if it was just where the veneers were. i go through my stack here. But, uh. Good job, Steve. You'll be able to see. Stack. I sanded it down. Um, but it like cracked the veneers right here. So I had to, I sanded it down to try and like, I don't know. If, yeah, yeah. You might be able to see it. Like it's like right here. Oh damn. Yeah. So it like split the veneers. Um, this is a seven seven five. And, okay. Uh, yeah. I was like, maybe I just. This is when I was like, yeah, maybe I just want really small wheelbases, and I'll ride these little boards and pretend like I'm back in 1996, even though it's sort of been like a vert board back then. Yeah. But, exactly. Uh, yep. But I was like, oh, let me, you know, it was on the sale bin from like COVID. And I was like, yeah, let me get this and left it under, I guess, too long. And yeah, it like cracked the veneers just on the top ply. Pre-snapped. But, uh, yeah. I was like, I couldn't even look at that thing. I'd snap it first yeah. off. <laughs> come right off. 
Yeah, I was tempted, and then I was like, what am I doing with this thing? What about so, you guys? Have you ever tried to, like, modify wheelbase or drilling holes or anything? No. no I haven't definitely. done anything that cool. <laughs> cool. I'm but, glad you consider it cool. Yeah, most people just consider yeah. it absolutely insane, or they stand on my board, and they're like, what in the fuck is this? Yeah. I know. I'm almost excited cool. to, like, see it in person, but just to, like, see how the, the truck sits on the, you know, in comparison. Yeah. Do you wood putty the other holes? No, exa- oh, I'm glad you brought this up. I was actually thinking about this. So I used to be like really paranoid that my truck would bust through because it's such a small, thin piece of wood. And uh, so I actually used to get epoxy putty, like basically a steel stick, and uh, just put like a small amount. I would just like wad up a small amount and put it in the original holes. And then uh, I stopped doing it, and I've never even come close to busting through or anything. And like even that small, just marginal piece of wood just – it holds up. And I'm not the most hash yeah. guy, so I don't feel like I'm going to bust through too bad. But yeah, I yeah, know. I used to epoxy putty all of them, and then I got lazy, and I was like, oh, I'm just going to see how this goes. And then, yeah, I haven't had any problems with it. No, Did you ever – because I want to ask a question, but I don't want to put anything in your head, I guess. is uh, So <laughs> from the extra holes, do you get divots in the grip where you see the old holes oh. and the new holes? That's where – No, like, I was thinking I like that would drive me crazy. I actually don't. I I know exactly what you mean. If I do a really sloppy job and I'm, um, yeah, I've had sloppy jobs in the past, but no, I the I ride pepper grip and I've always ridden mobs, so they're I feel like they're a little thicker, but no, I feel like I've never had that problem because like even the top sticker on the board used to bug me when you'd get the dust circle, mm-hmm. you know, like between the bolts or whatever. But no, I've never had any any problems with it, like showing wow. the little holes. Which, yeah, that probably would bug me a little bit. Yeah, because I can think, like, back in the day when we used to ride, like, two hardware on each truck. Like, I don't ever remember noticing the other two holes. But I guess oh, yeah. it's probably thicker then, too. Yeah, I tried that. I did the two holes for a little bit, but just out of necessity, just because, like, there was no skate shops near me or whatever. And uh, I actually, like, would bend my base plates doing the two mm-hmm. Two bolts, and yeah, I remember I used to ride Crux down lows. As for the trucks, I skate 525 Crux lows, and I put this um, hollow kingpin so that my board is lighter. Back back when they had the, the nub, you know? Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, I remember I would just bend, like warp that base plate. So I was like, oh, man, I got to stop doing it. But it was so nice. It was so fast. Yeah, and it's so dumb. Like, it's that extra four hardware is not making a difference, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you yeah. were always, I guess, with the downloads, were you always a lower truck guy? Yeah, I was always low trucks. Like, I feel like uh, my, so I had a couple, like, influences in my hometown. I'm from this, like, little tiny town called Brazil. It's like an hour west of Indianapolis. And uh, I had r- these two guys, Ryan Weddle and Pat Binkley. And they, uh, they kind of molded, like, what my setups, because I would just get the hand-me-downs from them. So I would get a, uh, yeah, I would get they like they. I think Ryan was getting maybe Crux from the shop, like from like Repflow maybe, and uh, he would just give me his old downloads, and he was like, "Yeah, man, you could Smith grind, you won't hang up, you know." Just like sold me, sold fifteen year old me, and I'm just like, "Yeah, like Crux are the best." And so I, yeah, I was always a low chart guy, always. And then, uh, yeah, so that I feel like that's why I kind of gravitated towards Thunder because they were just. Mm-hmm. Naturally, a little bit lower. And those bring your wheel base. That was gonna be my next question. Like, what's the truck now? Oh yeah, so I'm on a 148 hollow lights. Okay. So a little bit wider, 825. I I guess technically 825 on Mm -hmm. the Nate, but it doesn't. The Frankenstein effect doesn't really bother me. Yeah, honestly, I'm a fan of that. Like the quarter wider truck. It feels more comfortable too. Like if uh, I were to ground a flat bar or something, I don't have to worry about like, you know, like shooting over it or something. I've always liked a little bit wider truck. And then I like the forged base plates. The forged base plates. Are, I, I, I don't really like the cast ones. Like, it's stupid, but it's like that little millimeter. You know, yeah. it's like, yeah, I'll take it. And, uh, yeah, I like them light, too. So just, yeah, I do the hollow lights. But I don't do any, like, bushing changes. I believe in, like, stock bushings. I, I like, I, I, yeah, bushings drive me wild if I get too deep into that as well. So I like just keeping as stock as possible. And, uh, yeah, that way I don't have to, like, tweak on that too bad. And then, Makes sense. Yeah, and then uh, 50 millimeter Formula Four Classic shape. I like the classic shape just because it looks cool. I like just I I feel like uh whatever uh what do they call them the like the squared the off tablets, edges the conical ones yeah tablets, tablets yeah conicals or tablets yeah, are... yeah I feel like I I don't mind them like they don't, I don't nothing really matters to me you know but I just like the way the classics look like that's yeah, no, I'm I'm I like my wheels to be round 
Yeah, me too. Exactly. I like my wheels round. Exactly. And then, yeah, I do graphic in just because I'm a, you know, one of those guys. Just, I like the, I like the clean. person, unlike me. Yeah. Yeah. Mi- <laughs> like you're like, Mitch is like an anomaly with that. Yeah. It just always kind of bugged me. The graphic wears out instantly, you know? So it just kind of looks dirty, like after the first couple days. And I was having, like, I would have, I would ride my wheels forever. And that's, that's why I like the smaller wheels too. Cause I would just get the hand me down wheels and then they would end up being like, 42s you know by the time my birthday came around or whatever yeah it's funny i was watching the part today again and i was kind of thinking like man his wheels look really tiny and i'm like but then when you said about like not switching boards that often and not switching wheels i'm like they probably start as 50s and just <laughs> exactly dude you, know, when you don't switch them out they're like yeah my gauge down. of like when i need new wheels or when i have to set up new i hate new wheels I, I get, it feels like I'm just riding like a hovercraft every time I set up new, even, even fifties. It's, it's crazy. But, uh, any, I'll have people at the park, like, or wherever I'm skating, I'll just hear people like, man, your wheels are small. You know, you got like really tiny wheels. I'm like, all right, it's, it's time. Like it's time. <laughs> yeah. It's when time. they're noticeably small. Yeah. I'll get multiple, multiple comments at the park, whatever. I'm like, all right, all right. I gotta, gotta switch them out. But, so yeah. since you ride fifties, like what bearings do you use? Um, uh, these are reds. Reds. Okay. Is that your normal go-to just regular reds? Yeah, I get, yeah, I'm not too picky about bearings. Like I want to do Swiss, but I'm just like kind of lazy and I don't know if I'll like take care of them as well as I should. You know what I mean? I'm like scared. I ride through like mud and water all the time. And it's like, I just don't deserve them. You know, like, <laughs> so I, I, I don't have a cheap pair of reds and throw a new brand new set in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Reds. I don't feel too bad. And like if the, if the cover falls off, I can just like rip it off while I'm skating, you know, and it's like, so I'm fine with that. I feel like reds are the best, like best happy medium. Yeah. Especially for the price. Like, yeah. You know, exactly. And then I got I get uh, to make my sales pitch now, Mitch. The mini logo that? bearings are reds with two shields. Oh, okay. Are they, they have the little skate rated sticker now, but yeah, they're actually like, it's just, they have, instead of that white, that clear plastic on the inside, they have another shield over it. Damn sick, and they're like twelve bucks. Yeah, oh, yeah. I might have to do that. So it's like the same bearing. Yeah, yeah. and they're black, they so us. they look like the Swiss. Damn. Yeah. I could I could feel like I have Swiss. <laughs> in the club. Yeah. yeah. I, I have to say, Mitch, you always do Swiss. Mitch is like bearing. Yeah, but loyalty. I get like two sets every two years, so it's like I can yeah. make a set last for a year, and I'm good. Yeah. It's like, I've I don't had have mine since the shit. summer. And uh, I love them. I'm like, they still, they're really good. If you ever you manage do, to like find a pair. They're... Do you guys do maintenance on them? I don't. Okay. Yeah, I don't really Mitch, either. Because you... I can get them to last easily a year. So it's like at that point, I'll just put the other but side I don't in. use it. Okay. Yeah, no, do honestly, see? I don't like the speed cream. Once you put it in, they sound like soggy again. It takes yeah. forever to get them back to like, like I'd much rather have my bearings be loud. Yeah. Have that nice dry spin to it. Yeah, so I'll leave the shields on for like six months, and then some random time when I'm switching wheels, I'll pop them off. Mm-hmm. Get that nice scream. Yeah, dude. Yeah, but I'm not one of those, like, take them off on the first day. Yeah. And dude, uh, as for hardware, you guys talked about this before. on I think it was like the, the comment episode. But uh, I have that hollow Ace hardware. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's sick. It's a uh, Nick sold me on it. I, and I'm, I love all the like nerdy little stupid technology too. It's sick, but uh, it has like randoms. Like remember old randoms. It has like the mm-hmm. pegs to where uh, you okay. can just kind of smashed in your board and you don't like, say if I don't have an Allen and always Allen, I've always been Allen. Like I awesome. Yeah. And that's yeah. why we like you. I can't do it. The, 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 it just, the Phillips just instantaneously strips. It turns silver. If you have black bolts, you just, yeah, bugs me. So I've always been Allen, but uh, yeah, say if I, you don't have the Allen tool, you can just kind of put your finger on it and crank it with just the T-tool. It like, kind of mm-hmm. saves a little bit of time. And it's hollow, which is like pretty funny. Interesting. Yeah. And did you ever try that girl stuff? That's That was one everybody kept no. saying too, like the girl hardware. I was going to make a joke and say I had girl hardware and independent bearings, but uh, <laughs> I, uh, Nick was just showing me the hardware. I think I'm going to try it out next time. Just because I, yeah, I, I, uh, I'll break hardware randomly, so it's like maybe that'll last a little bit longer since it doesn't have the. Well, so that's the thing you break hardware. Yeah, yeah, because the hardware, I, I try to do the hardware for as long as possible, and eventually it'll just start like kind of smashing against the ledge, and then 
bending and then eventually snap. But, wow. Yeah, like the girl hardware intrigues me. I think I might do it. Yeah, because what's the point of it? It's not supposed to wear against the base plate or something. Like it doesn't oval. The base plate won't get oval because of it. Yeah, that's a big thing for me too. I get I get that so bad. I think it's doing back tails, just the constant like front wheel smashing against the ledge, and I think it eventually mm-hmm. just just that bores out that hardware or that base plate hole. Man, but yeah, yeah that'd be nice. I was Mitch. I don't know about you, but I was the most blown away about anything that was there. Was that that many people had that hardware. Like, so I didn't even random. know it was a thing until that episode. Yeah. I had never heard of it. Yeah, I honestly haven't either. I was like, what is this girl hardware? Yeah, girl's yeah, just the sickest crazy. hardware company now. Yeah, it's so yeah. funny that that's like what's making girl relevant at the <laughs> yeah. moment. Hardware. Everyone's set up as girl hardware. Are you like a super basic grip tape guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just black and pepper, grip. pepper, right? Yeah, yeah. Pepper grip's nice. I feel I've always been like diehard mob. And then uh, I feel like. I've heard, I've heard a couple of people talk about it too. I feel like they just kind of changed their formula a little bit and it doesn't, it's not the same. I love extremely gritty grip tape. I feel like mob just, I don't know. It used to be a lot grittier. I don't, I it used to be mm-hmm. thicker, grittier. It used to be a different color in my mind. Like when I think back on it, like I'll even see, like I used to keep all my old boards, like at my mom's when I live with my mom. And so I'll have boards that have old mob on it from like 2008, 2007. And it's still like extremely gritty. And I'm like, so maybe it's not a Mandela effect. Like maybe it actually does. It really like, did change. Yeah, it did change. Yeah. So yeah, Pepper, uh, Nick was talking to me about it one day and he, he, he's like into the nerdy stuff as well, like in the nerdy technology. So he was talking to me one day and he was like, yeah, it feels like mob, like for the whole time. Like it doesn't, it doesn't like become soft or like lose its grit. So I tried it and yeah, and I was like, yeah, it's super good. And no, yeah, no graphic, no line. Just try to keep it plain, plain black. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sold well, on. I guess when you're running a board for as long as you can, you don't want to do too much like Dude. crazy stuff to it. Cause... Yeah, could you imagine if I was doing full like glitter grip jobs and just had to ride it for like a <laughs> month and a half? I'm like, oh my god, lose my mind. Do you ever regrip boards? No, I don't think I've ever regripped a board. That's I think, I, yeah, I, yeah, oh yeah, it would be nice. It would be nice. Oh, I couldn't do it. It would drive me nuts. Yeah, I know. Like taking the grip off would be the. Do you use a hair dryer? Like, what's the? No, no I used to ride Jessup. Which I'm back okay. to Jessup now. Um, so you can so just rip it off. Just, you, can, you can get lucky and rip it off. Yeah, I know the mob is like way less forgiving. Let's not put that out in the air because next we'll hear about Nick have, hating us because kids are bringing boards in to get boards regripped. Yeah, I know. Right? Yeah, he has to regrip three boards. That was the worst thing working at the skate shop when a kid would bring in like grip tape that had been on there for like two years and it's breaking off in like little pieces. Dude, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I remember like people would have heat guns and like screwdrivers and just be like, just picking at it horrible it's like oh i only have 10 bucks what can i buy yeah i guess i'm buying grip tape they they have a kryptonic board and they're like let me get a sticker and a sheet of grip tape yeah that's that's my that's my setup i feel like it's pretty hilarious i I love telling people about it yeah i love that you like took the time to like make the science of it dude yeah these these mods dude these tool mods if anyone out there wants to mess with their wheelbase like Kim skates. They're a lifesaver. Yeah. And these new metal ones, they're, they're so good. Can't recommend them enough. Does, uh, does top color ply matter to you? Oh yeah. I'm an old school dude. I can't do the red top. I, wow. I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't know red why. It meant, it, like, I'm not even that superstitious of a person. I just don't even want to like poke at skate injuries. Like I, I just, will, I'm just going to play it safe and just be like, I'll stay away from the red tops. Any other color is fine. Any other color. At this point, I don't know why wood shops even bother because so many people. Well, does hate generator it. make red? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen um, one. Uh, maybe I'll get like a random like pink or like like slightly. Yeah, we get you know? pinks, but nothing. Yeah, I haven't got a red. I don't think I've ever gotten a red theories board. Thank God. Yeah, that's a good yeah, question. So. Now that you say that, I'm almost I, thinking they don't. Yeah. I could be wrong on that, but, uh, but yeah. somebody I know there's there's some one wood shop doesn't. Like they just don't. And South Central loves making them. Like I'd get half a order with red tops, and I'm like, "You're killing me." Not <laughs> like for me, red, but their shops were like, anybody. "We don't want red tops." Yeah. yeah, I feel like Pinswood. I used to get red Pinswood board. Like I, my buddies had a company in Southern, no, yeah, in uh, Southern Indiana, and they they use Pinswood, and uh, that I think I would get red every now and then, but not that I, yeah, not on a theories board. How would you rate the Pinswood boards on a scale of one to ten? 
So I, dude, I'm weird. I, I don't know. I kind of, I didn't mind them. I didn't mind them. They were, were super flat. All the ones I had were super flat. So I was mm-hmm. like, oh, I'll take it. And they I felt remember. like they were already skated. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they were so soggy that they felt like you were, they were your worn in board. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was like my board after three weeks. I was like, oh, right, sick. I used to like getting the uh, Kyle Nicholson scum co boards because he had a flatter mold and uh, I would get those. I mean, they lasted like if a normal board, or any other board I'd keep for like two weeks, like those were like a week. Oh, but God, I remember yeah. they were super <laughs> flat. So I was like, oh, these are sick. And, yeah, man. So, but yeah, yeah this is cool. Mitch, anything else? That's all I can think of. All right. Yeah, I think we covered so, everything. Every go to your shop, buy Niles board. If, yeah. they, if they got it, dude. If they bought it, that'd be sick. Yeah. Or yeah. if you can't find yeah. it, go to Minus. Buy yeah, yeah, minus. exactly. Yeah, come to Minus. Route Ripple, Indiana. Definitely. Yep. And then let's see. So there was a uh, county line just came out. If you want to check out Niles' newest part, awesome video. Yeah, by my boy Aaron. Buy, comes with a... Yep. Yeah. Really sick, man. That was that was a really cool video. Really. Dude, cool. I gotta say, I just watched that theories part that came out like last year or two years ago now. <clears throat> Dude, that front blunt shove at the um, it's like a downhill ledge. It starts real yeah. low. That thing is it, yeah. That spot's so cool. It sucks. It's so hard to <laughs> skate. Yeah, it's almost like a hubba. Yeah, it's wild. When I saw that, I was like blown away. It's like right in the beginning of the part. Oh, dude, yeah, that was that was like uh, I think maybe first spot. In uh, yeah, I was just like, dude, this thing's so sick. It's like it starts off pretty short, but yeah, you could just like hop on a fifty fifty going super slow and and you're just like cooking. Yeah, just coast, and then you're just straight up bombing a hill after. It's it's super fun, but yeah, I know. Like I see other people do tricks on it, like uh, like what Jameer did. Jameer does like switch back tail tricks on it and stuff. And it's just mm-hmm. like, dude, that's nuts. Going out that thing, switch psycho. Cause the whole run up is downhill and you got like the driveway kind of like curb cuts going down a little, like right before it. That's psycho. But yeah, that spot's sick. But well, thanks, dude. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming on. This is cool. Yeah. Oh, of course, dude. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it was fun. That was fun nerding out about skateboards and skateboard setups. That was sick. Yeah. People seem to really like this setup stuff. So yeah, I'm excited to see other people's setups too. I'm hoping you guys got some like, some other crazy bastards that <laughs> will go in on their boards. Yeah, and I'm, honestly, we were talking about that. Like setting up my board is like one of my favorite things. Like customizing and kind of like making it yours. Yep. Like you guys like stickers. Stuff like stickers. Like I love. Yeah. Like, I'll put stickers on every board and just yeah. like making it mine. Yeah, I got like a shoebox full of stickers. It's so fun just to like sort through and try to find ones that like match or whatever and just. Yeah, especially like my friends' brands that I'm psyched on. And I'm like, yes, I can fit this yep. here and it'll look cool. And exactly. That's when so, I'll insert like the FP logo and. <laughs> yeah, Ryan <laughs> sends a shoe just. Yeah. Pop right out. <laughs> yeah, stickers are the best. That's a, So I guess that's it too. So you do stickers on the boards too. Um, do you ever do a board with no stickers or that drive you crazy? Did you say no stickers? Yeah, would that drive you crazy like a board yeah, with no yeah. stickers? That doesn't, yeah, that doesn't bother me. I can do no stickers. I can do with or without, but yeah, I try to just like, just like what Mitch was saying. I try to do it just cause yeah, it's fun. It makes it like your own little personal collage, you know, it's fun. To, yeah. And you can like wrap your homies. Like if Nick gets like a random ass sticker in or like uh, my friend gives me like a stupid, like uh, I remember Jake, Jake would send me little emoji stickers in boxes. So I would have like little like Apple emoji stickers, like little waves and shit. I could just slap one on there. Just it's funny. Jake had these, um, stickers of Lindsay Lohan's mugshot from when she got arrested. Yeah. And I had those on like five boards in a row. Just because I thought it was so funny. <laughs> so sick, dude. Oh, and yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. this doesn't have to go in there either, but now I'm curious. So if you, let's say theories was like, you know, whatever. Um, is there, what board would you go to off a wall? Oh, dude, I already know. All right. So my favorite old <laughs> I won't girl put this in. I won't put this in. Oh, yeah. I don't even care if you do like this. I love this is my favorite thing. So uh, so it's an old girl shape when they had I think it was PGI, whatever their Chinese manufacturer. Okay. Was. It was a it was a G018 shape and it doesn't it doesn't exist anymore. So they have a it was an eight by thirty one and a half and they have a Brianna gearing shape. I think it's G042. It's an eight by thirty one and a half, but it's trash. It's worse. I can't stand the it's not even close to what it was. And uh, I had a 14 inch wheelbase, super mellow, like a little bit broader nose. It wasn't by any means like a shovel nose. And then the tail tapered in slightly, super mellow kicks, like mellow concave. 
And uh, yeah, I hadn't, it just disappeared. Like once they changed manufacturers, it completely disappeared. And uh, I actually had moved, I used to live in the same apartment complex as Nick and I used to watch his cat. And uh, whenever I moved in, I, I watched his cat for him and Nick was, Nick, I got like a knock on my door and I look outside and it was a girl, Jeezer 18 shape that he had on his wall that he gave wow. me just to like have, just to like look at the shape, I guess. And uh, like, it's mm-hmm. just sick. I still, I look at it all the time. I'm like, damn, yeah, this, this shape's so good. But uh, yeah, he gave it to me just as a gift, you know, for like watch like housewarming gift and watching his cat. But uh, yeah, if I could recreate that mold or just shape Man. that same cut, everything, and maybe I I don't even think it would matter, but maybe shrink the wheelbase in just like just just as, I don't know I don't even think it matters. But yeah, that shape is like my Goldilocks <sighs> shape. I feel like see that's that's amazing, Mitch. Do you have anything like that? Like some perfect board? Anything that you ever like? That was the board, and because I know you're you have it a lot easier because you ride stock, you know. Yeah, I think we talked about it on the Transworld, like the Free Your Mind one. There was that Durrell board that was the battery, like the Duracell battery. Mm -hmm. I skated that board like four times in a row just because it was like right when I stepped up from like an eight to an eight and a quarter, it might have even been eight three. It was the first time I started skating like bigger boards, and that shape, like the nose and the tail, were so good. I just kept skating it and kept skating it. And then I switched to like a generic, like real team board because it was the same shape for a while. Okay. Yep. But that was like, God, I can't even imagine like how long ago that was like 2006 or something. Yeah. Just the one that got away. You just always have that thought in the back of your head. Like, man, I love that board. And then that's why it was so cool. Like you imagine just getting gifted that board to you, you know, and you'd be like, whoa, this is like the same. Yeah, that's exactly. But I can't set this up. Yeah, exactly. I can't even set it up. It's like, I don't even, I'm not even like super into the graphic. It was like an old graphic Corey Kennedy road. And I was like, dude, I, this is the exact, like, like I, I'm like, I wouldn't hang it on my wall as an art piece, but I just look at the board. Just the, this is the shape. <laughs> yeah. You hang it like the opposite way. Yeah. Just looking at the shape. You know, I know. And I'm like, look, G018. Like, this is the what? art. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So yeah, that, that board, that's like thinking, my shape. But I'm thinking Blood Wizard was using PGI. Um, yeah, I, I, and, and this is when I'm like, yeah, cool. Every board that I would like is like something horrible, like a blood wizard. <laughs> yeah. I can't get hype, like, you know, um, but yeah, my friend, one of my friend, my friend TJ, we used to swap flat boards with each other. Like we would just ride boards and like send boxes of five boards to each other to try out. And he'd sent me a blood wizard and he used to do all this, uh, weird grip tape art too. So I'd always have to rip the grip tape off. You'd have like racing stripes down it. And I'm like, how do you ride this? <laughs> and uh, there was a blood wizard. I gave it to somebody, but it was so flat. And I was like, oh my God, this does look amazing. And, yeah, uh, but I never wrote it. I was just like, it's a blood wizard. I, I can't do it. Well, yeah, um, just doing a nollie flip on a blood wizard board. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Anakin Sen blood wizard board, but it looked really good. I remember for and, a bit, uh, for uh, I- Max Allure was doing PGI boards and uh really yeah the, I don't know if they still do they probably changed but it was like right when they first started they were doing PGI and Nick would get them in this was years ago and uh yeah I, I think I found like pretty close to that kind of same shape or whatever and then uh Kelly Hart random enough always talks about their 7-8 shape and I remember that shape it was so good I remember had a uh, Sean Malto 7-8 like whatever code it was geezer or whatever and uh yeah he talks about it. I'm like dude yeah that was a good board Wow. Perfect. Man. Now it's just me hoping like Desenzo's. What's this board company? Two cents. Dude, yes. I was you actually, gonna stock up? I was actually thinking about that today. Are you which Desenzo? Like and who do they ride for? I don't even know what board brands either one of them rides for. So the one that got that was on Dark Star, I think the other one doesn't skate or isn't like sponsored anymore. Okay. Yeah, he quit Powell. The one that's on SP. Scott was on Powell. Yeah. So Ryan he quit just started this board company called like two cents. Hmm. And we were all joking. Cause it's like, dude, this market is so flooded with boards. Like that's all you're going to make is two cents on a. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> dude, I got to see it. Oh, and the graphics are horrendous. It's, it's exactly what you would expect. Isn't that crazy? Like you don't even need a website anymore. It's just an Instagram. Yeah, there it is. He has a monkey board. Oh, no, yeah. Look at that board. graphic. Is it a monkey sitting at a desk? Yeah, it's pretty sick. 
<laughs> it's pretty oh sick. <laughs> pretty sick. Uh, so Who all right? Is it just him? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, no we got Tyson Bowerbank, Caleb Aljarazi, Trey the Tank. Trey the Tank. I oh, like they him. got that kid off Santa Cruz? Wow. Oh, well. The Hollywood High Demon. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Said, I, dude, I, that's so weird you said that because I literally thought about that today at work. I was like, yeah. who is this guy even right for? Because like, I thought it was Dark Star. finest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Niall, I heard they use PGI wood. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Saying the graphic off. Yeah. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Two cents, man. Sick. There it it's is. It's a monkey on Damn. a typewriter. What? Like he's just like a slave to the grind? To the business. Yeah, the man's getting you down. Oh, we can. There he is. Might as well be the the chimpanzee on a segue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there we go. Two cents skate. Damn. That would have been sicker if he made it SK eight. But <laughs> yeah, that is. A but I will say, I win. The tail logo is it's not got a big dyed bottom. Thing. Dyed bottom ply. He's on it. Damn. See it under there. Paid extra. Wow. I would say you're really deep crap. down there. <laughs> oh. Man, Ryan Desenzo. Well, wow. just the beginning. <laughs> Hopefully, the end. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, what was I going to say? Did you ever see a? Uh, does Nick stock um disorder? He doesn't stock disorder. Have you ever had disorder board? No. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> so those are like, like. Nia just says it's like some special mold they wouldn't release to the public. Um, so I think those are pretty flat too. And it's like, ugh, of course, it's like some shitty Nija crap board that would probably be my favorite board ever. Yeah. Um, is it PS6? Is that what they use? It's PS6, yeah. Which I, is say, I feel like it's PS6. Disposable board. <laughs> those things are... You don't even yeah, see them anymore. No, it seems like everybody bailed on them. Like, yeah, I'm trying to look at the wall. Who even uses them? Does Quasi still oh, use no, them, or they they left? Quasi, uh, Quasi, Quasi uses PS6. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Strange Love. Strange Love. Toy Machine and, and uh, Weekend. Yeah. Glue. Oh yeah, because I skated that uses. terrible Toy Machine board recently. Oh god. Well, dude, are I the Toy Machines good. back to them? Are they flat again? That used to be yeah, my go-to with toy machine boards. Dude, it's a PS6, and it sucked so bad. The tail was so Ooh. tiny. That's nice and red on top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, PS6. It looks mellow. Yeah. What do you think, Steve? Oh, is that a team? Are the team ones PS6 again? Because those were overseas for a little bit. It has all the engraving in the nose. Yeah, yeah, it's super flat. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Engraving. Yeah, yeah, that looks perfect. Man, yeah, that looks like that looks like a beautiful uh, deck. This one's like, <laughs> do the kick on this thing. Like the tail is just so tiny. And that's a toy machine board. Yeah, this is the Alyssa free. Oh board. damn, that graphic's sick. Not what I expected. Yeah, it was Alyssa, so I had to grab it. But yeah, it's like yeah, yeah it's, you know, full got the laser engraving and all that stuff. So yeah, dude, and it's pretty flat, but it's not like you know, girl yeah. chocolate nineties flat. Yep. No, that God, see that, and that's what it beat. I have to spray paint that stupid toy machine board, but it looks so good. I had like yeah. two Jeremy Liebruses in a row, and I'm like, I don't even know who this guy is. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. Yeah, like he I've really like gone here. I was like, board you really good. Shoe. Yeah, oh my yeah. god, how about the new Dakota Servold shoe, dude? Oh, those are sick oh, too. The Dylan Reader 2.0. Yeah, the dude, seriously, the fucking the red with the black sole oh, kills. Yeah, me. everything about it. But that part was fucked. I gotta yeah. give him that. Like part was fucked. Man, yeah, was I see zero yeah, boards out here now. Yeah, I'll see zero board. So crazy. But yeah, foundation the, no. Oh my god. Yeah, when I was like doing stuff with you know, talking to those guys all the time, they would tell us like 
who was selling boards where the most. And like, dude, Lopez would kill it in the Midwest for some reason, like in that like dying to live era, like dude, his board sales were off the roof. <laughs> Adrian <laughs> yeah. Lopez, oh hell yeah. It's so crazy. Like he would crush it out there. Yeah, we still have fans of Adrian Lopez right here. Is he from the Midwest? Okay. No, I think he's from San Diego. Wow. We just had a huge, like, zero, like, huge zero phase. And, like, uh, we had, like, Crimson Skateboards. You guys remember Crimson? Like, Chris Markovich? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had a couple Mark guys. Mark Vitch, the 87th friend. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was before Given. It was, yeah, uh, Steve Fowler and this dude, Rick Yusey, used to ride for it. And they're from, like, our area. So, yeah, we had a big Crimson scene, too. It's wow. funny. We sold a shitload of them at the one shop that I was working at just because they were distributed by the same people that did Listen. Oh, wow. And Listen was so huge for us that, like, we just, for some reason, like, we were all super big, like, Listen fans. Yeah, Listen was so cool. Yeah. So we would always be like, all right, well, if we're getting Listen boards in, I guess I should get some Crimson boards, too. Yeah. Let's get some Rob G boards and some Markovich boards. Yeah, some Richie Belton's. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Richie Belton, exactly. He did kickflip front blunt on a picnic table. I know. <laughs> this is insane. Oh yeah, my one homie from Baltimore too. that lives out there, that lives Man. in Long Beach, was like tearing me up because I was like talking shit about the shoe, and I was like, I'm not talking about the dude. Like, I know he's a super talented skateboarder. The shoe just sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's, I don't know. The little emblem on it kills me. I can't do the little like penny loafer. Mm-hmm. Like emblem on the top. Just yeah, she's trying so hard. <laughs> and it's seventy five bucks. Oh, I did it for a slip on. There you we put go. it on your foot, and your mustache just starts growing. Yeah, 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 instantly. What's what's wrong with the lace on it? Yeah, I you guess it's it has, like yeah. are those elastic? Maybe. Yeah, it's just like the Dylan. It just stretches right there. Oh my god. <laughs> This is insane. <laughs> and yeah, like, dude. you know, it's like, 22. Cause well, they with came the out with a black suede white sole slip on. Very original. Yeah. But and they the have that, like that toe cap. And that's what I like. The I guess on the slip ons, it's like the coolest thing is that there's no stitches to blow out. So this thing's shitty and the stitches are going to blow out. <laughs> What are those? Are those some Reynolds? All red Reynolds up there? Reynolds ones? Oh, oh it God. is. Can you imagine? I think it's going to jump. See, it, it, ju it jumps pages. You guys can't see that, right? Oh, I can copy no. this and I'll put it back. We'll end on this one. This is way sicker <laughs> than a. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Did Two you ever have this? $19. I, I didn't. I was a little bit after that, but my um, my brother's friend who actually got me into skating, his name was Chris Ottenbacher. He gave me a pair of the Navy ones. They're so big, dude. They were like size 13s. I don't know why I took them. They were like already skated, but I just thought it was cool. It was like a relic. And so, uh, yeah, I just, I have a like, I don't even know if I still have them, but I just have a giant pair of like Navy Blue Reynolds ones. Oh, so I don't sweet. know why. They're worth $219. Yeah, dude, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I have all like if I go to my mom's, I have so much random shit. Like I have Jason Dill like Etnies shoe boxes. Oh, just like, do you have the graffiti ones? Yeah, I have the graffiti box. Yeah, I. I oh, I kept did, that. did you have the shoes with the graffiti? I, I had. I didn't have the graffiti. I had the red ones, and then I end up giving oh. them to my friend Aaron. But I just kept the box, and I just have like so many old. I have like every magazine I ever had. I have like a like a like I don't know what you'd call it. It's like a uh, just like a medicine cabinet essentially. Or like mm -hmm. a sink cabinet just stacked with old skateboarder mags, trans worlds. I was in, yeah, skateboard mags, skateboarder, and then trans world. I was never a thrasher kid. I just feel like it wasn't really in my, like no, in my. You know, it's weird though, right? Because that's the big magazine now. We would always read trans world. Like it was like, oh, yeah, trans, I, like everything else was cooler. Thrasher was like the vert bowl, like Hesh magazine. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I never had one. I didn't even know where I could get one. Yeah, wow. Because I used to go to here. like movie gallery or like whatever game rental shop, and you could like get skate magazines. And I remember I got Big Brothers there. Like I got like the hundredth 
in like hundredth issue of Big Brother had Bob Burnquist dropping in on like a like a box on its side, like on a <laughs> on a vert ramp, just like the biggest biggest extension you've ever seen. And uh, yeah, I had to be like, oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. that issue, and I was like, dude, I gotta get that. Just had my had my mom buy. It. She had no idea what she was buying me, but I was so hyped. That's awesome. Big Brother was so good. Man. All right. Cool. Well, Niall, thanks for coming on. Um, dude, thanks for having me. Very enlightening. It was so fun. Yeah, dude, this is so fun. I love just bullshitting about skating. It's the best. Yeah. It's also nice to know somebody else who rides 50s, even though I've, I'm a trader and I ride 52s now. Yeah, I know. I can't believe that. <laughs> yeah, I so. can't either. Well, I had a freak out yesterday. I was freaking out and I was like, I have a set of 50s on ice. Like I might have to put them back on. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'll try and stick these out. But uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So I, you, I, I, you, ever, you ever miss it? You ever miss the small wheels? Yeah, it hasn't been that long. Um, it's only been maybe a month or so. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, it's not bad. yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> Because I, I was trying out, I made like a, a wheel thing, a wheel video, and uh, I bought the wrong wheels. I meant to buy 50s, and I bought 52s. And that kind of was like, ah, this isn't that bad. And then I took them off and put my 50s back on. And uh, yeah, and then I wanted to try those Bones X99s because I have access to them. So it's like, cool, they don't make 50s anymore because the the STF, whatever, 99, the 50 millimeter. Who is it? It. Mitch, I don't even know who's on those wheels. It's uh, CJ, CJ Collins, Collins, whoever the hell he is. <laughs> the it's the, kid on it's just like has this little naked guy. It's the worst graphic, so they didn't sell. And uh, so I was like, all right, I'll try the 52s of the X99s, and they feel really good. But do you do 99s on your wheels or 101? Um, I think – I don't know, actually. I, I think 99. Yeah, ninety nine. I had to look at Nick for that one. But uh, yeah, yeah, I, I do ninety nines. But uh, I tried a pair of dragons or a set of dragons, and uh, oh. I thought they were cool. They were like super inner. Yeah, I just wanted to see what they'd be like because like it's kind of like what everyone always wanted to try. You know, everyone wanted a cruiser wheel that would actually skate or whatever. But uh, yeah, they were fun. It's just uh, the the noise, the sound. Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, it still sounds like a cruiser board. Yeah, exactly. And it just, but it, it was super fun. And uh, but yeah, I just I ended up just giving them giving them away to like a girl at the park or whatever. But yeah, they were, they were pretty sick. The 99s are what? Like, or the X 99s they're So they're harder. So they have the better sound. Yeah. They feel like, yeah, oh yeah. They feel like the, the formula fours, formula four 99s. They feel very similar to that. And just the one thing I noticed was that riding on rougher ground, they felt like smoother. And then on smooth ground, they felt like harder. Really okay. weird. Yeah. Like actually yeah, so they have a great product, just the worst image known to man, Ryan DeSantis. Yeah, dude, exactly. <laughs> I know. Yeah. 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 With a Felipe Gustavo pro wheel. Hey. So all right guys, I don't mean to bail, but I gotta go pick up the kid from work. But yo, you gotta break out and I gotta break out. World for life. <laughs>